What is going on guys? It's your favourite entrepreneur's favourite entrepreneur, Graham David Holroyd here, coming to you live from my home office here in the United Kingdom. Very quickly, how would you like to discover a simple way of building an e-learning course? Okay, and not only how simple it is, but how fast it is. Check out this video. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a platform called Builderall to build our e-learning course, okay? So inside of Builderall, uh, if you want to get access to Builderall, there's going to be a, a link in the description to this video. Uh, basically, you can get Builderall uh, full trial for 30 days for $1. So if you want to go trial it out, please click on that link below. So inside of the Builder All platform, what we're going to do is once we're logged in, we're going to hover over where it says apps and down the left hand side under builders, we're going to click on e-learning. Now, once this loads, this is where we're going to build our full course. OK, so give that a second. OK, so what we want to do now is click on where it says create new course. Now, these are just some of the other courses that I've already created. So if we click on new course, we'll start one from scratch. So let's give it a name. So we'll just put in digital marketing, uh, lab. digital marketing lab. Okay, the instructor name, Graham Holroyd, category, uh, we're just going to go business and management and we're going to select next. OK, so we can give it an icon. I'm just going to skip that for now. Um, and create a new course. Awesome. This course is now created. So what we can do is we can preview and we'll see what this course looks like already. Now, there's going to be nothing in it, but uh, let's just have a look and see what it looks like. So it's just going to be basically blank, but I just want to show you the layout very quickly. So we're in the preview mode, uh, digital marketing lab. We can click to go to the first lesson. Obviously, there's no lessons and it tells you. So we're going to do a little bit of editing. So what we're going to do is we've got that. We're going to add an image. We're going to give some title. So we can literally just put welcome to the course. If I can spell welcome to the course. And we're going to scroll down. Uh, yes, we can so the, uh, start again. Allow, ask questions, the instructor. So if you want that to be ticked, people that are coming into your course can send you an email uh, so they can ask you any questions about some of the videos that you're providing or the PDFs or the audio or whatever it is that you want to put inside of your course. The workload. Um, so let's just say it's going to be a 10 hour course. Um, scroll further down. So the instructor. So you can give your um, put your image on there and put your expertise. So my expertise is digital marketing. Let's just add a, an image. Then we go down to registration and excuse me, protection. So registration required to view content. So we can either have registration re uh, not required to view content, registration required to view the content, or some lessons require registration. So what we're going to do on this one, we're going to hit on registration not required to view content, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture their uh, email address before they even come here and pre-approve them for access. Um, social proof integration, we're not going to add any social proof to this, but what you can do is through your funnel that you build to, for people to purchase your course or whether you're giving this course away for free or whatever, you can have some social proof popping up saying uh, XYZ just bought uh, this course, etc. And as we scroll down, so we can capture students' email straight to mailing boss. That's just um, your autoresponder that comes free with Builderall, which is pretty cool. Um, 
So modules and lessons. Okay, so this is where we're going to add the modules. So let's add module one. We're just going to leave it as that for now. We're not going to put a description. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little arrow here that says show lessons. Now there's no lessons yet, so we're just going to add lesson. And what we can do, we can give this one a name. So we can just put intro, okay? We can put text before the content. So um, we could put um, watch this whole video. And then text after the content if you want it. And how long it's roughly going to last. So if you've already pre-recorded your video, which you probably will have done, and let's just say it's 25 minutes, put 25 minutes on there, and whether the level is easy, medium, or hard. So if it's an introduction, um, let's just say, for instance, we'll just change that to 10 minute intro. And if we go now to content, so what we can do is we can upload a YouTube video. So if you've pre-recorded your video and you've got it as unlisted on YouTube, we can grab that link and put it in there. If it's a Vimeo video, uh, video straight from your computer, Videlo, uh, Builderall uh, Video Manager. Um, so you can actually host your videos on inside of the Builderall platform, which is even cooler. Uh, videos from Amazon S3, SoundCloud, uh, SlideShare, PDF file. If you don't want to do videos, you can upload a PDF file. It can be a web page. Um, it can be a HTML code. It can be an image, or it can just be text. So what we're going to do is we are just going to put a YouTube video, and we'll leave that just as blank for now. What we're going to do then is just cre uh, click on Create Lesson. So now we've got as Module 1, and we've got as Intro. So what we're going to do is we're just going to save that for now. Go on. So we've also got the FAQ. So you can add certain things in there if you want. So you can just add questions. Here's another little cool thing with uh, the e-learning is the final test and certificate. So once they've physically completed your course, you can then send them a certificate to say that they've passed that course. So if you're doing a course on, let's say, Facebook ads, and you're an expert in Facebook advertising, um, you can then create a, a little certificate. And once they've gone through the whole of the course, then they're going to get access to that certificate, which is pretty cool. That way, then they can share that onto uh, Facebook themselves, onto a social media platform. <laughs> And it's then helping you build your brand because more people are going to know about this uh, course that you're either giving away or you're selling and you're giving away a certificate when they get to the end of it. So that's pretty cool. And then you've just got look up. Um, so what we can do here is we can edit the actual layout of the course. Let's just head into the, uh, the actual editor. OK, so you can have the students. Uh, the people that come into your course, they can edit the theme themselves or you can just have that disabled so they can't. And the display progress of the lessons, that's a, an awesome cool feature because it tells you then at the, the top of the screen how far into the course they've got in a percentage. So what we'll do is we'll just open the course theme editor. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little cog, this little red cog. I'm going to click on that. And we've got all these themes that we can use. So if I wanted to go for and click on save default theme, default theme saved. Now what we can do is we can go back to our page and we can press save. And then we can press get embed code. OK, so you, there's two ways. You can either have the direct link or if you want to put it inside of uh, a website, you've got the, the embed code to do that. 